To make a McVitie's chocolate home wheat, you need soft English wheat, palm oil from the Philippines, pure cane sugar from Mauritius, and for the chocolate, the best cocoa from Ghana. Oh, thank you. Yes. Here's some I bought earlier. McVitie's. You have to go a long, long way to find a better biscuit. Today we're going to show you how to take a well-earned break with deliciously continental McVitie's Reader. A rich chocolatey center and a light crisp wafer covered with silky smooth continental milk chocolate. Times two. Here's one we finished earlier. McVitie's. You have to go a long, long way to find a better biscuit. Today we're going to make some McVitie's digestive biscuits. First, you need a traditional country miller for the perfect blend of flour. Can you find me a traditional country miller? Thank you. Wholemeal flour and plain flour. I'm afraid we didn't have time to stick the plain flour. We do it 408 times, you know, for that crumbly digestive texture. 408. We find that, doesn't it? Really? Right. Here's some we bought earlier. McVitie's. You have to go a long, long way to find a better biscuit. Today we're going to tell you what you need to make McVitie's hobnob. One, hold them down for the oats. Two, sunshine for the prime cane sugar. For the oats, insist on jumbo oats for that extra knobbly texture and prime syrup to hold everything together. Well, here's some I bought earlier. McVitie's, you have to go a long, long 